day two of my spinal fusion surgery vlog. Day one was pretty rough. It's 6.42 in the morning. Um, I'm feeling a little better today. Yesterday my pain was probably like a 10, today it's around 6, so I'm just really sore and uncomfortable. Um, my catheter was taken out today, so I have to get up and use the bathroom. I'm pretty nervous about that. I'm gonna try to do that now. Then push up on the bed and then as you're coming up, you will grab this. So I was able to brush my teeth, but I think washing my face would have been pushing a little. So I bought some um, face wipes because you know, I still got to take care of my skin. I had to get up and use the bathroom again, but now I'm about to eat breakfast to get my gourmet meal. I'm gonna look delicious. Um, I'm sitting up in this chair and I'm trying to move around more, um, get off the bed a little, because I have literally been in the bed all day. It's a little uncomfortable to sit up in a chair, but I'm trying to move around because that's how you know quicker by getting up and moving. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'm gonna get back in the bed. Okay. And we're going to go left to where there shouldn't be any other patients out okay. this way. I don't hope. Okay, and we're going to try to make it all the way down to the end of this hallway, and then we'll do a U-turn and head back. Oh, you good. Oh my goodness. The good rule of thumb is to try to walk about once every hour. That's not only going to increase your strength and your endurance over time, but it, it is going to reduce some of that stiffness and that soreness in your back region. It's also going to lower your risk significantly of getting a blood clot or something like that after the surgery. In my experience with the type of surgeries with the, with the scoliosis, the blood pressure tends to be the most tricky thing post op day one. Oh, have you been up walking yet? Yes, I just walked with uh, Chris. We walked down the hallway. How did it go? Oh, uh, it was pretty good. Did they end up walking you last night? I couldn't walk. I felt too lightheaded. But right. well, they tried. I walked like two steps and then I sat back down. I'm going to pull up your x-rays so you can see them. Oh, good. You got the roll. Your whiny butt over here, though. <laughs> hey. Can I get up? Oh, your eyelashes made those, yeah, those uh, butterfly wings you got. <laughs> Blink of you might lift out of bed. <laughs> Roll over here. It hurts the laugh. That, that's moving the muscles. That's helping get through this. Okay. All right. So think about every time you do, it's like a workout. And the more you work out, the better you get, right? Okay. She seems much taller, too. How much? You think she. Um, half inch to an inch. Half inch, okay. So I thought so. You know, 45 degree cursing is half inch to an inch. Ooh, you're straight. Oh, Look at that. That's pretty straight. We use these, I don't know if I told you, remember that necklace you had to put on to get an x-ray? Mm -hmm. We sent your x-rays to Europe and the engineers, you know, did your plan and then printed a rod and shipped the rod in. And then that's the rod we put in you so that it aligns you. It helps, it just helps. That's what it looks like. That's pretty straight, man. Wow. You scrape. I can't believe it. It's pretty cool stuff, man. Okay. You know here what the fun part is? Yeah. Today's the best day of the next two weeks. What do you mean it's going to be hurting? Oh, it's getting a lot worse before this. So. Oh, okay. Tomorrow, the next day, it really starts hitting. So the day is usually one of the better days of the next few weeks. So just enjoy it. Okay. Okay? Because whatever you think's bad today, it's going to get worse. So right now, I'm eating lunch. Um, 
This is hospital food for you. Got some tea, and I think it's unsweet tea. Some coleslaw and chocolate. <coughs> chocolate ice cream. So yeah, I don't really want this, but I'm gonna just eat it so I can get my energy back, and then I'm probably gonna take a nap. So um, I took some of my meds, and I think they're kind of starting to kick in because the pain is like going down a little bit. It was like eight, nine this morning. It's probably like a seven right now. It's just really hard to get comfortable, but um, I'm gonna try to finish eating this food and um, take a nap after that. Oh, I'll check back in when I wake up. I think I have to do some more walking. I walk to the bathroom after I walk in the hallway and I think that's what I'm supposed to be walking every hour. So yeah, I'm just exhausted. Walking takes a lot of energy out of me, so I'm really tired right now. So I didn't get a chance to really vlog a lot my day two. It's around uh, 9, it's 9.29 p.m. and I already had my meds for the night but I'm still really uncomfortable. Uh, it's really hard to just find a way to lay. I'm trying to lay on my side right now to relieve some pressure from laying on my back directly. Um, my mom went downstairs to warm up my food. I got cheddars for dinner because the hospital food is just gross, unseasoned, just nasty. I just can't eat it. And hopefully I can get some rest tonight because it's so hard to sleep when I'm constantly uncomfortable. So. I'm looking forward for some rest. Um, apparently, the night times are worse than the days, so I'm not looking forward to going to bed because it's just it just hurts. But after seeing my results, the pain is definitely worth it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the pictures and stuff. But my back looks so good. It's so straight. I can't even believe how straight my back was able to get. But, yeah, I just don't have a lot of energy um, from getting up and walking and walking to the bathroom and just trying to sit on the toilet. It takes a lot of energy, so I'm just extremely tired, but I can't sleep because I'm uncomfortable, so it just sucks. That's all for now. I'm just laying and watching some Lifetime movies, listening to music and on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, so... Add me on all my social media. It's in the description box. So I just tried to eat. I didn't. I didn't eat that much because I'm tired. Just sitting up, making me tired. So I'm about to lay that down and try to go to sleep. Mom, how do you think day two went? Mm, I think it was a little rough. It was rougher today than it was yesterday. So, and I know the doctor said today that tomorrow is supposed to be the worst day. So. <sighs> I'm just going to be positive and How you're going to get it worse. What is worse? This mm -hmm. is crazy. Like, the energy that it takes for me to sit up right now is, it is like, crazy. I'm exhausted from just sitting up. Like, I'm so ready to get down. Okay. So, what time is it? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Oh, can't turn my head. That's got to stop. I can't, I can't look to either side. I have to stay looking straight ahead, so... It's been really rough for me. I mean, like turning to look for things, but I can't turn my neck or anything. So, gotta keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it for day two. Okay, so we made it down to the end of the hall like we did yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. We had a gentleman who is maybe five, six years, old, years older than you, and he just had a one level fusion. But he was like, no, oh, I can't get up and walk. It hurts too bad. I said, uh, we need you to walk by in this room and show him your scar and be like, look at me go. <laughs> All women tend to be a little bit tougher than us guys. Too, mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to eat on my own. I just uh, finished walking and I used the bathroom again. So it took a lot of energy out of me from log rolling walking in the bathroom the hardest part right now is that i'm still in a lot of pain and my back is really sore um I'm just trying to move around more it is sunday and it's day three so i'm supposed to be getting discharged today if 
everything goes as planned. So, um, I'm ready to lay in my own bed, but I'm kind of scared to leave the hospital because I won't have like the help from the nurses and stuff. So, I don't know. My money down is the most comfortable thing to think about to go lay down. Yeah, but you gotta get up as they say every hour. So. Mm -hmm. I think I get, I get like sharp shooting pain if I move too quick or I do too much. It's just like really sore. Exhausted. I just took my pain meds and I am ready to take a nap already. And it's only like what 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have been in the hospital for three days. I just got my IVs taken out. I was issued a walker and a toilet thing to help me um, hold on to like railing while I'm using the toilet at home. But I will be going home today in around an hour or two. But I'm ready to be back in my bed and to put on my real clothes and get out of this hospital gown. I can't lift my phone too far, but overall, um, still in a lot of pain, just really sore. And basically feels like I have a new back because I do. It's just um, back's really heavy and sore and I'm literally just exhausted. I just had my pain meds like five minutes ago when the nurse was in here. So I'm trying to take a nap before my mom gets back and then I'm going to drive home. I'm going to finally clean my lashes because as you can tell, they're like so dirty and stuck together. So yeah, it's day three of spinal fusion surgery. Everything is draining to do, but I would say make sure that you keep up with your pain meds. Um, even if it says as needed, take it every time that you can, just so you can stay up on your pain. If you skip, then I don't even want to. I don't want to be in so much pain. But apparently. I've heard that the first week is the worst, so I'm expecting, you know, when I get home for it to not be so easy, but I'm just gonna keep up with my meds, taking them as soon as I can. Um, getting up and doing my walking for 10 to 15 minutes around my house. I can even go outside and walk. I have to sit up like in a chair, so I'm gonna sit in this recliner that I have at home. It's not good to just sit to just lay in the bed all day because I could get blood clots and an infection so definitely my mom is definitely not gonna let me not walk so I have to do that and also my breathing exercise so that's it for now I got some I think it's like lemon lemon chicken with some rice corn and a roll and some iced tea this tea is so unsweet and oh my god but this doesn't look that bad i don't know what this is oh some salad okay this will do so i'm sitting up eating my food Whew. and i am tired i never thought it would take this much energy just to sit up I cannot wait to get home in my bed and take a nap. I'm gonna take the best nap. Um, what I'm worried about is seeing the babies and not being able to really interact with them or pick them up. I know they're gonna be so confused, but I can't lift over 10 pounds and my babies are way over 10 pounds. So, we're gonna see how that goes, but I'm just gonna finish my food now, waiting on my mom to get back with the car and then I'm going to be discharged. I'm ready to lay down because it hurts to sit up like this, but I'm just ready to go. So. 
Okay. You good? Yeah, it's just sore. Okay. I'm going to have you lay back down until the chair gets here, okay? Okay. You want to say bye? Finally going home. Mom, please drive slow. Okay, I got you. Mm. Let's see how this goes. I'm about to get in my bed. I'm gonna sleep so good. Oh, How's that? these speed bumps. Oh no. How's that? How's that? It hurts, but it's okay. Mm. Okay, that car ride was no joke. Arkansas roads suck. Um, and now at Walmart because I need to get my mom's in the store getting my prescription, so I don't have a break in my meds because that I literally cannot go without taking my meds tonight. So hopefully, um, it's not too late to put in my, for my prescription. It's five o'clock um, p.m. So I'm just waiting in the car. I got a little nauseous. Um, the humps in the road were really hurting, so I'm gonna try to put the seat back a little. I'm just, I wanna go just lay down. But I just, I'm just gonna sit. I'm just gonna sit still so I don't hurt myself anymore. Okay, at least my back is straight and I'm gonna have less pain. pregnancy pillow um in one of my facebook groups um this super nice mom was giving it away for free so if you can find deals you know always look for freebie before you spend money i think this pillow is originally like 60 dollars and i got it for free so it just helps with support um because i have to either lay on my side like this or on my back so it's actually pretty comfortable to have something to hold on to in the front um, like I said, the ride home was pretty rough. Getting in and out of the car, it's not fun. Um, but I made it and I don't plan on getting back in the car for a little while. So, um, using the bathroom at my house, it's, uh, it's not that hard. Just you have to make sure that you're lined up with the toilet. Um, so you don't blindly fall and that would just be not good. So make sure that you just have the help from somebody because you, you're not going to do this on your own. Definitely going to need a walker. I don't even think I'll be able to get around without the walker. Luckily, um, my physical therapist at the hospital ordered me one through my insurance. So it was already ready for me when I left the hospital. So I've been using that. I have to do around 50 steps around my house. So just walking back and forth. Um, I walked to the baby's room and to see them, but I couldn't pick them up, so that was kind of weird. But I don't really think they know what's going on. I know they just like put their hands up for me to pick them up, and I can't because I can't lift over eight pounds for around uh, like a month and a half, right? Two months. Yeah, it's a pretty long so time. So I'm just gonna have to. Uh, my mom holds them up and they give me a kiss, and I just like hold their hands and stuff. But that's pretty weird. 
but I don't want to risk um, hurting my back, so I just have to um, follow all of my rules and make sure I stay up on my meds and just do everything that the doctors are telling me to do. And right now, I'm going to try to get some sleep because, like I said, it's hard. I'm exhausted, but it's hard for me to sleep when you're in so much pain. So I'm going to try to get some rest now. That's the end of my day three of my uh, spinal fusion uh, surgery. I know today is morning of day four um, I had a really bad night uh, I cannot sleep with that pregnancy pillow it did not support my back enough and I was in a lot of pain like I'm talking about crying every time I had to move it was pretty bad um, I had to walk to the bathroom just getting up is really really painful and it takes a lot so it's the morning of my day for right now. I'm really sore, but compared to last night, I feel better. I'm still in a lot of pain. Um, I took my morning meds already. Another thing that's happening with me right now is I'm feeling kind of constipated and bloated. So um, I've been taking stool softener. I need to put some of my Miralax in my drink. And then I've been eating licorice and I'm gonna try some new peppermint tea. So hopefully I can have a bowel movement because I need to. And I'm about to eat breakfast. I just I know I gotta get up and walk. My mom is telling me to get up, but I just wanna lay. But walking is what is gonna make me get back to normal. So I know I need to. It just hurts. This is the worst part I have to get up. Try to get up on my own. Be careful. Knees together first. Straight back. Okay. Together, I reach over. Okay. Got her? Can you do it? Push it up. Push it up. Good job. That was good. That's good. Okay, guys, I have to walk for five minutes. Mom, you set the timer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna set the timer. You hear the timer going off yet? You okay? Five minutes is too long. It's five to ten minutes, so every time you've got to do each time.
You're good. Oh no. Wanna add the room into it? That'll add some. Good job. You're doing excellent, baby. I know it's tough. Gotta do it. Let me check the timer. Oh, Let's see. You've got, um, Let's see. Oh, you've only got a minute and 31 seconds left. That was good. Hit the living room um, once more, and then you can head to the bedroom, and that should end your time. And then next hour, we'll do six minutes. No? That's at night time. If you sleep all day and all night when you're supposed to walk. Look at that. Was that not perfect? Told you. Thanks, <laughs> Told you. That was terrible. You wanna say goodbye? Mm -hmm. You did an amazing job. Good job. So I'm back in the bed after I did my walking and eating. Um, I did have a really scary experience this morning. Um, I didn't really eat a good dinner because I wasn't feeling up to it and when I tried to get up this morning to use the bathroom um, I instantly felt really really lightheaded and my ears started ringing and I thought I was gonna pass out so just make sure that you're keeping up with your eating and drinking you don't want to get lightheaded because if you end up falling I don't even want to think about what could happen so I did have a good breakfast. I drank some water and some juice and now I'm back in the bed.